Oh, hey guys, what's really going on? It's freaking almost 5 o'clock on this Friday, fake Sunday. Tomorrow I go back to work and it's going to be hell on earth and I got to fart. Oh, grimy. So what I'm thinking about doing, what I'm going to think about doing, no, what I'm going to do is head outside. I want to put some gloves on and see if I can yank those golden rods out of the ground or if they're like really friggin' anchored. Oh my goodness, the cuteness. She was laying down and then she rolled over as I came down the stairs and it was adorables. Having a good sleep, scampers? Oh my goodness. Oh, the talent. Put some uh, gloves on and see if we can grab that golden rod and rip it out of the ground. Because if we can, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like we did on the driveway. Now the driveway was a lot easier to manage with because, well, frig, it's a driveway. Bluetooth has been disconnected, huh? Well, heaven forbid. Look, I got a remote control on my watch. So cool! Alrighty, well, I got my gloves. So let's see if we can grab this stuff. It's spiky as shit. I'm hoping these gloves will protect me. They probably won't. Let's see if we can hook on to her and rip her out. Because the uh, last thing I need is a bunch of this golden rod right on the side of my wall. Ouch. Nope. You know what, people? That shit is way too spiky. It goes right through these gloves. Fuck, how am I going to deal with that? Okay, I got an idea. There is always a way. Basically, these are covered in spikes. I don't know if you can tell, but they really hurt when you hit them. They go right through the leather gloves. All right, I'm gonna need a tip from the audience. Anybody in the landscaping business, how would you get rid of this? Knowing that it's spiky and spiny, the previous technique worked a bit, but like seriously, spiky. Yeah, my hand actually hurts right now. <sighs> how am I gonna fucking deal with this shit? What am I going to do? Because if I don't deal with it, well, I can wait till winter or till the fall, till all the foliage falls off. And deal with it then, I guess. That'd be the best bet. Like some of the stalks, like look at the stalks on these things, man. They're they're massive. And they break pretty easy when you shovel slice them. No, they're not able to. Like this one here is really thick. What the hell kind of a plant is that? That's not goldenrod. But the snowblower is getting grown in. Pretty sick. They're pretty pink flowers. I know what I could use is those really great big friggin... You ever see those scissors? They got like super long handles or like gardening scissors. That's what I need. Something with a really big handle onto it. Or even in dad's... Uh, no, that would take too long. The scissors would be the best. Dad has a, a branch cutter that has a pole on it. So you can get really high up in a tree and trim the branches off of a tree. But, yeah, I, that would take like a month. Come winter, or, you know, fall, all the uh, leaves will be coming off. And I bet you the spikies will come off too. And then I can just grab them and pull them. And that would be pretty good. I do have to go to the grocery store today. That's a given. Um, we got nothing for lunches for the rest of the week. Let's check on my car's tire pressure there, make sure everything's good. But, uh, yeah, we got nothing for the rest of the week as far as food goes. Grab my mail. I'm gonna head her back inside because there's dick all I can do out here. Well, I just checked the flyers to see where the deals were today, and it looks like uh, Food Basics has better deals for Lunchables. And I don't mean Lunchables as in those packages of crackers and processed meat and processed cheese, cheese, uh, cheese even. Uh, what I mean is Lunchables as in items to make my lunch with. Uh, so we're probably going to head over to Food Basics and scoop up some bread, lunch meat, and maybe some granola bars or something to put in my lunch and just get shit for my lunch, you know? So we can have some good eats this week because this week is gonna suck and the next three after it are gonna suck even harder. However, once that's all said and done, we're on vacation, boys. Freaking right. Next last night, we were gonna go mini biking today, but he's got shit to do. 
Uh, apparently he's got a trailer hitch on the Sunflower and um, he also has a trailer so we could load the mini bikes in the trailer and take them somewhere and go rip romping could be awesome but that won't be happening today that's a given because stupid over here got up way too late oh i was hung over like a mother frigger this morning got up at like what eight o'clock went downstairs pooped peed drank about a gallon of water peed a bunch more then went back to bed woke up at two got up went oh i better finish editing the vlog edited yesterday's vlog had another poop ate some food Picked up the camera, started talking to you guys. I enjoy my simple life, you know? I'm not an exciting guy, I know that. I like it easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I like playing video games, it's the way she goes. You know, let the hardcore people do the hardcore videos. I'm a lazy bitch. But you already know that. Holy crap. I gotta do something about those beer cans over there. Freak sakes. Just chatting with one of my buddies. Uh, he had the same problem in his backyard. Uh, the plant is called a thistle. Apparently pretty common in the UK. Not very common in this part. Well, it probably is pretty common, but whatever. Anyway, I thought they were goldenrod because I had a goldenrod infestation back there. Uh, since I moved in, pretty much. He basically said, get some baking soda, layer the ground with it, and water it. And it's the perfect way to do pranks such as crop circles on people's lawn. It kills the lawn. It, it kills the, the area. So oh. She looks like a cinnamon bun. Scampers! Scamp, scamp, scampy scampers! Scampers! Holy, she doesn't have a fuck to give today, people. Anyway, I need to uh, head off to uh, the grocery store. I gotta pick up some shit. And then we're gonna uh, grab some baking soda while there. And do I... St oh, where is that bottle? Where did I put that? I got one of those pressure active pumps and I, I, I like he said literally you lay down the area with baking soda and then you water it and it changes the pH in the soil and will kill all plant life. What I'm thinking is heavy dilute baking soda into water make it uh, and then just coat the area and that might kill them and that would be super if it does and if that does work well, I guess I'm baking soda in the friggin' driveway too. Frig the vinegar. I was like, maybe I'll mix it with vinegar. And then all of a sudden grade two friggin' science class came up and I was like, oh yeah, when you do that, things happen. Things explode. Anyway, I'm gonna grab my belt and we're gonna bail. I forgot my belt upstairs. <laughs> she moved. It's the scampers. It's the scampers. What are they doing? What are they doing? What in the fuck? Okay, so the neighbor's building like a deck back there or something. Oh no, they're putting an addition on their house. Oh my goodness, yeah they are. Anyway, is, like really? Oh, okay, whatever. Anyway, we'll uh, take the back road to go to the uh, grocery store, I guess. We'll loop around because I don't want to deal with that crossing deck. So, I'm gonna have a piss and then we're gonna friggin' head off. So that bacon soda shit works. It's going right here and definitely all along here, definitely all along over there. Like I say, this is a big patch of shit. Like, are these the same? No, some of these are, no, no, they're the same, never mind. This is, I thought these were maybe, may have been raspberry bushes. I also got to board up my window apparently. Well, whatever, we'll worry about that another day. Frig sakes. Bunch of vegetation. Hey, pretty white flowers. They go with that pretty purple one. Alrighty, down here at the, uh, nope. <laughs> down here at the green store there. I almost parked behind this friggin' pickup truck, but he's got a trailer hitch. He's not even parked all the way in, like you see the back tire there. It's right on the line. I couldn't have parked behind him that, and he's got a hitch that sticks out about a foot and a half in the back, and I would have taken that right in the front bumper if I tried to park properly. Anyway, I'm gonna go pick up some shit. Talk to you in a bit. Ha, poet. No wonder why I'm feeling really hot today. It's 30 friggin' degrees out. Anyway, people, I just picked up all the shit that I needed. We got two kilograms of bacon soda. Should be enough for a little bit of warfare. And, uh, yeah. Let's go home. All right, well I bought this great big box of Arm & Hammer. It was about five bucks. Holy shit. Bacon soda has a lot of uses. Look at that. How come they don't have gardening on here? Anyway, we'll figure it out. I'm going to um, probably leave that for another day though because uh, it's getting dark and I want to do some research on using this method but at least I got the shit for it. Looks like I can use it for like laundry and stuff too. That's pretty awesome. Alrighty boys, let's head out to the barbecue and get ourselves some, I bought a, some pork chops here. We'll have our last two pilsners while we barbecue. Did a little grill, grill cleaning there. I cleaned out the base and cleaned out the oil catcher. And yeah, took up some friggin' meat. I was th <laughs> she's back in the window. I was thinking for a test patch to see if that bacon soda trick would actually work is to nail this area with the raspberry bushes. See if I can kill the pH here. 
because literally that's all I want to do is kill the pH but what I can't find is a garden is my uh, garden hose no the um, I had one of those bottles with a pump onto it eh and you put your liquid inside of it and you pump up the pressure and it's basically like a super soaker for gardening I think I can remember where the hell I put that damn thing because I can't I really can't well, dinner's coming along well. I love when dinner comes along well. Apparently Angry Grandpa just uploaded a video too, so I'll have something to watch while I uh, eat my dinner. I just cleaned the basin tray there, and my goodness, it's already covered in grease. Thank God I cleaned the grease catcher. So I texted my mom to ask them if they had a set of those gardening shears with the super long handles. Turns out they do, and they're going to drop them off tomorrow for me. So that's awesome. Maybe, on, maybe tomorrow night I can come home, go to bed early, wake up Sunday morning early and go out and play cut it up so I can cut them down to get to the ground and then when I get once I get to the ground I can lay down a baking soda water the shit out of it kill the pH level in the ground and slaughter the roots or worst case in Ontario say fuck it dig them up throw them in the back underneath the tree where I put all the other crap just chat with mom there and she's like oh I guess your phone works really good you did a good job fixing it eh I'm like yeah it's back to 100% I don't need a new phone now Rock this one for God knows how long. And it got me thinking about this article I read on Facebook about how the sale of cell phones has dwindled over the past two years. And honestly, I think it's because we're, we're coming to the end of, like, I don't want to say the end of cell phones, but there's no new improvements on technology. It's like, what's out there now is way more powerful than what the software needs. Like the S6 and the LT or what's it, HTC top of the line phones, all those things have like eight cores and more RAM than required and stuff. Like the S4 for me is the perfect phone. It's got everything I need. It's pretty quick. It's snappy. It does the job. Works really good now that I fixed it. So it's like people aren't buying a new phone because the phone they have does the job. Same for the iPhones, like the iPhone 5 does the job. The iPhone 6, yeah, it does the job better, but people with the 5, I know people who upgraded to the 5C from the iPhone 4, even though the 6 was out, just because the 5C does the job. That's what my mom uses. She has a 5C and she loves it. Like it's a great phone for her. And I think Rex also has the 5C. People aren't buying new phones when they come out because number one, they're expensive as shit. And number two, their current handset does everything they need it to do. So why waste money? And cell phone companies are blaming it on other things like, oh, people aren't doing this as much anymore. And blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, we're, it's just like the PC age. Okay. I talked about that in a previous vlog where like one of my buddies online, he's like, oh, I'll never become a PC gamer because I don't like the fact that I got to upgrade every five minutes to play a new game. And that was how it was back in the day. But nowadays, look at the processors they have out there. Like I'm not talking about the core, the, the iCore processors, but look at the, the, the mainstream shit. Like... Uh, the AMD A series and like Intel released re-released of a Pentium series quad core Pentiums and quad core Celerons that are actually pretty peppy little chips that can play modern games no problem if you stack a good video card onto them even video card technology four gigs of video RAM when would you ever use that it's like they're dropping all these like heavy balls and, and making all these like amazing pieces of tech that are pretty pointless right now until the video game industry picks up the pace and actually starts using the technology. Everything is basically basically at its end game. It's like, like I said, my, AM, my, my AMD, fuck. My uh, Dell Inspiron, not Inspiron, my Dell XPS 9000 currently plays every game I throw at it. Any of these new modern games. Grand Theft Auto 5, 60 frames a second, no problem, all day, every day. Uh, the, what was that other game I just read? Oh, the WWE game. Crank the graphics, psh, there's no lag, it just kicks ass. You know, we're pretty much at a, at, a, at a hardware end game as far as it goes with computers, and I do believe we are there with cell phones. Until somebody puts a projector into a friggin' cell phone that can echo your screen up on a wall, or even better yet, like that keyboard you can buy on ThinkGeek, that laser keyboard. Have you guys seen that thing? It's pretty badass, but probably awkward as hell to use. You'd be looking at it all the time. But it project, projects a laser imprinted uh, keyboard on any si any surface and it's actually functional. When a cell phone can do that shit, like Tony Stark style, that's when I'll probably upgrade. But until then, this S4 is kicking ass, so why the hell would I upgrade it? You know, I got this long life battery into it. I can go three days without putting my phone on the charger. The processor is a quad core two gigahertz, decent. You know, it's got three gigs of RAM, decent. I think it's three gigs. It could be wrong on that number, but whatever. Um, 
all in all, my phone's perfect for what I do, so I get the best when my current situation works fine. Just saying. Anyway, I do believe my dinner is ready, so let's pack it up and head her inside. Oh yeah, boys, this is gonna be awesome. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be about it for today. Obviously, you see the bush behind me that I gotta deal with. Like I said, mom and dad are gonna drop off some uh, shears tomorrow for me to deal with that. And um, should be able to bang that out pretty good, hopefully. Here's hoping. Over here, into the yonder region, we got uh, the plants that I pulled from the sidewall there. They're uh, looking pretty, pretty not in happy position. Pretty not in happy position for sure. Gonna have to deal with that. And uh, I don't know what's going on down here, but we're gonna try the bike. Was it bicarbonate sulfate or whatever the hell it's called? Baking soda. Clean that all up. Yeah, when Rex was over last night, we were looking at the stump. Look at how much the uh, vegetation on the stump has died. So I should be able to bang that out, clean it up a bit, and then bury it. Should be all right. The Oreo's in the house just barking his furry little tits off. Whatever. Yeah, you know, that's going to be it for tonight, boys. Look at the size of that thistle bush. Look at this one. Like, really look onto it. You can see why it hurt me. And it pricked through the leather glove so easily. Ah, frig sakes, I'm under attack. With that, uh, the shears of mom and dad, I should be able to cut them down, get to the roots, and then bang it all out. And that right there is about a fucking 9 by 12 location. I could totally put a shed up back here if I wanted to, like one of those tin sheds, put the mini bikes and shit into it. It's an option, but anyway, people, I'm going to shut her down here. So big time thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment as always. And until next time, guys, keep on vlogging.